Controversial and secretive U.S. data analytics company Palantir partners with the UN's World Food Program. It doesn't sound right. Major Android apps are still sending data directly to Facebook, even if you don't have a Facebook account. U.S. Department of Motor Vehicles shown to be selling people's data to private investigators. TikTok fined 5.7 million U.S. dollars for illegally collecting children's data. Frontex, EU border agency, cancelled plans to spy on social media. For now, we're watching you. PI win at the UK Supreme Court means that the UK spying tribunal can be reviewed in ordinary courts. Top mental health websites are sharing sensitive personal data for advertising purpose, but some stop after research. UK parenting company Bounty was fined £400,000 for collecting and selling the data of mums and babies. Ouch. A second US city has banned facial recognition after San Francisco. Uganda and Kenya introduced new data protection laws. We'll be keeping an eye out on their implementation. Period tracker used by millions of women are sharing incredibly sensitive data with Facebook. But actually, thanks to our research, they're not doing it anymore. US court says that suspicionless searches of travelers' devices is unconstitutional. Denmark announced a review of 10,000 court verdicts after flaws are found in cell phone evidence. South African court rules that bulk interception is unlawful.